Hello my dear students, welcome to your Geography's online class. Today in this class we will be discussing the chapter water resources and the topic modern methods of irrigation. Last class we discussed the traditional method of irrigation and their advantages and disadvantages. The traditional method of irrigations like well irrigation, tank irrigation and inundation irrigation. So today in this modern methods of irrigation we will be discussing the four different methods of irrigation practice that is considered to be the modern method and also we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of this means of irrigation. So the four different methods of irrigation practice in India which is considered to be modern are tube well, then canal irrigation, the sprinkler head irrigation or it is simply called sprinkler irrigation and then we have drip irrigation. The reason why we call them modern methods of irrigation practice because of the involvement of the technologies in these four different methods of irrigation. So let us first talk about tube well irrigation. Last class we discussed about well irrigation in which we found a disadvantage as of well irrigation is that the land occupied by it and the water usually dries during the time when it is required the most. So to make up those land as well as the loss of water during the time when required we have tube well irrigation very similar to like that of well irrigation but tube well irrigation here we find that the tube well irrigation we see that the tubes or pipes are dug deep in the ground. The tubes are dug deep inside the ground and the water is extracted so that is underground water is extracted. So in this case what happens is the area occupied by these pipes that are dug deep inside the ground is very less. At the same time the water that it extracts from the underground underground water the wa it, it is provided even throughout the year without it drying. So when we see the advantages here now so discussing about the advantages of tubal irrigation we see that this form of irrigation or the method for modern method of irrigation can irrigate larger areas than as compared to the wells and as well as as compared to the tanks and then water in tube well is available throughout the year as because the ground water is extracted from very deep under the ground. It is an independent source of water where a farmer can have his own ownership on that particular tube well. There is no such organization that takes care of the tube well or it is not that that we need to pay to any of the groups or the organization in order to use the water of tube well. The fourth advantage that we see is there are certain places where canal irrigation is not possible. In such a case we find tube wells to be more effective. Apart from just having the advantages of the tube well irrigation it also has certain disadvantages like the initial cost of construction of this type of irrigation practice is very high which the poor farmers or the poor Indian farmers are not able to afford. Hence there is where we lack because of the low income of the family, farmers family they are unable to provide adequate amount of sums required for the constructions of tube wells though an independent source of irrigation. The next is the tube well irrigation cannot operate in the areas of brackish groundwater. That means those groundwater that contains high amount of salt there is where tube well operations cannot be made. The next is due to excessive extractions of groundwater 
there is loss of water in order in other words you can say the water table decreases and then when the water is required the most we find that it lacks to provide that adequate amount of water or sufficient amount of water for irrigation practice the next is with tubal irrigation been practiced the excessive overflowing of water which cannot be controlled very well causes soil erosion and thereby reducing the fertility of the soil now apart from these advantages and disadvantages there are factors in which we need to understand for the construction of tube wells tube wells cannot be constructed everywhere like in south india where the rocks are very hard and the surface is mostly composed of the igneous of origin there tube wells cannot be actively operated so the construction of tube wells requires soft soil and high water table that is high level of underground water that is where tube well operations can be very effective so this is about the tube well irrigation that is in practice in india now let's discuss the second method of modern irrigation practice that is canal irrigation canal irrigation is just a modified version of the inundation canals that we last discussed as a traditional method of irrigation here what we can find is this canal irrigation it is modified version of the inundation canal as like i said it is because the canal irrigation which is practiced in india here is mostly been constructed by making dams or barrages across the river and the water which has been conserved on the reservoir is it extracted and taken to the fields through canals that are constructed on the bank of this rivers so this is how water becomes available even during the drier periods or dry seasons that is mostly during the early summer and the winter in india where rainfall is not experienced in the country so now let's discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of canal irrigation so first let's discuss the advantages of canal irrigation as an advantage of canal irrigation we see as like i said that these canals are been cut out from the rivers on which dams and barrages are constructed hence these canals provides water throughout the year in a country like india where rainfall is limited to only 4 months we find water throughout the year because of canal irrigation the 8 months as a dry periods that is mostly during the winters as well as during the early summers still even this case we find waters have been available for agricultural purposes the next is though it is costlier in the initial stage but in a long run it becomes very cheap source of water for the agricultural practice the next the canal irrigation is very similar to, uh, the canals are very similar to like that of river where water keeps flowing throughout and these flowing water brings sediments which are deposited on the banks of these canals or on the sides of these canals which facilitates the growth of fertility in the soil but it also has certain disadvantages in terms of disadvantages we see that canal causes water logging problem and this canal irrigation cannot be practiced in hilly areas it is only suitable in the plain areas during the rainy season the canal already has water in it and there is an addition of the water because of rainfall so this may also lead to flooding situations in the low lying region the canals since they add water the, the flow of the water in the canal is also soaked by the ground which is already causing a problem of water logging but at the same time the swampy grounds around the canals are the breeding ground for mosquitoes and flies so from here itself various diseases may arise so this are certain disadvantages of canals in india the fourth form of modern irrigation methods is sprinkler head irrigation sprinkler head irrigation we so call it because water is provided from the top of the plants 
This sprinkler head irrigation and drip irrigation method that we see the two, mo two of the most modern method of irrigation practice in India. They are highly equipped with technology and also cost effective because purchasing of these instruments becomes very costly. But yet they are very effective method of irrigation at the same time they have larger amount of advantages than as compared to disadvantages. Sprinkler head irrigation and drip irrigation both can irrigate large areas. So let us just discuss about their advantages and disadvantages. But before we make so, as like I said, sprinkler head irrigation is providing water from top of the plant by sprinkling it. Whereas drip irrigation method is again very effective than as compared to sprinkler irrigation in terms of conservation of water. Drip irrigation is a method of irrigation practice where water is directly provided to the roots of the plants. So hence there is very less loss of water. Nevertheless we let's discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of sprinkler and drip irrigation. So the advantages of sprinkler irrigation as well as drip irrigation is that both this method are very effective in conserving water. In other, in other words, we can say there is no waste of water or no loss of water either through evaporation or through seepage or even excessive overflowing of water or overusing of water. Since they are being transported through pipelines, the water is been pushed through pipelines. Hence, there is no such loss of water. An adequate and required amount of water is provided to the agricultural crops. The next is the water that is provided is directly to the crops and hence there is still conservation of water being practiced. But this still has a disadvantage. The disadvantage is that since it is highly in curb with technologies the cost is very high and it may also happen that a poor farmers in India may not be able to afford for this type of irrigation practice. The next, the pipes through which the water is transported may burst during the frosty condition. Too much of cold will lead to the increase in the volume of the water inside the pipe leading to the bursting of this pipe. At the same time, the water coagulation, that is the pipes which carries water may carry some other waste materials which results in blockage of this pipe or coagulations in this water. Or else, if we see in terms of water conservation and then providing of water to the agricultural field, the drip irrigation method and sprinkler head irrigation becomes very effective. But at the same time, since this is the most modern method of irrigation practice in India, it may take time for our farmers, specifically the Indian farmers to adopt this kind of irrigation method in the country. As we find that Indian farmers are poor, at the same time are not very educated or you can even say illiterate. So hence, adapting to the newer technologies becomes a bigger problem. But yet, these four are the modern methods of irrigation practice that can help and provide water even in the times of dry season and carry out the agricultural practice throughout the year. So this is for the class. Thank you and you all have a good time.